All right, everybody. Hello, hello. So I'm Chris Kent, uh, MVP, PP, core team, all that other stuff. There's the things. Reach out to me as needed. I got something really excited to tell you today. So I tried to show you last week, had a small issue, uh, but everything's working today as of 30 seconds ago. So we will hope that we got it good to go. But I'm really excited about it. So let's get rid of this. Bye-bye. All right. So we've got ourselves a nice list here. I want to show off a new magic string. So if I'm going to go ahead and come here, I'm going to format this column, right? So that'll allow me to apply column formatting. I'm just going to come in here. Oh, Patrick sees me. That's really creepy. All right, so let's say LM type. All right, we'll just, this is just for testing. Div, and we'll say text content. In this case, we're just going to say this new magic string called at row index. So this is a very exciting one. Wow, look at that. So now we can just see everything just turned into a number here. So it starts at zero. So that's the actual index of the rendered row in the view. I'll explain what that means in just a minute. So that's a really exciting thing. Now that we can do a lot with just putting row index. But there's another nice new operator came out here called the modulus operator or the remainder. So you can say equals and I do something like 13. Modulus is done with a percent sign. So I say 13 percent two. Preview that and see it's all ones because the idea here is it divides it by two. All right, and then gives the remainder. So in this case, because it's odd, it's going to be a 1. All right, we change that to 12. We get ourselves 0, all right, 11, and so on. So the nice thing is you start to see, that's cool. What the heck do I do with that? All right, so we wrap that up here. We max those together. So I say row index, all right, and I say modulus 2, and I say that equals 0. All right, then let's put the word odd in there, and otherwise let's put the word even in there. So I preview that. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Now I can actually tell what's happening here. I got an odd, I got an even, and that's great. And you can use these, you know, row indexes and in column formats, but generally that's not super helpful. So let's take this a little further and let's take this over to a, you know, a view format. So come in here and I'm going to go to my view format. I'm going to format the current view. All right. So come in here and we'll do the same kind of thing. We're going to just say additional row class. All right, that allows us to apply a class to the entire row. I'll make sure before I forget, I'm going to close that thing out before he yells at me. All right, we'll do the same if statement. So if at row index, you know, modulus 2, right, equals equals 0, so it's odd row. All right, let's apply a class here. So we say msvg color, all right, and we'll say uh, theme white. That sounds great. Otherwise, don't do anything. Okay, close that out. We'll preview that. Boom! Look at that! Now we start to get something really, really interesting here, right? So now we've got some some stuff going on here. We can go a little crazier, right? So we can add a, an alternate style. So you must use color. All right, we'll say, uh, I don't know, theme lighter. How's that? Theme lighter alt, just to mix it up. That sounds good. Oh, look at that. It's getting very, very fancy. All right, and we can go even fancier. We can add some hover styles and everything else. So I'll just go ahead and paste that in here. Bam. All right, so I've added hover styles and some text. And now very quickly, I've got this very fancy-looking list. It doesn't look near as Excel, you know, giant spreadsheet on a web page. Uh, but it's very cool. So let's save that and see how that really works. So that row index I mentioned before, that's not unique to your list item, which is really important. So a lot of the magic strings, like current field, you know, pulling out other values, those are all related to your exact value inside the item. And so they, you know, they stay the same as you modify that view. But these, however, are related to the rendered position of your item in the view. So what I mean by that is the top one is always zero, so it's always going to be odd. So it doesn't matter if I sort it. So I sort that thing, right? Look at that. It stays in place. Sort it this way. I can come over here. I can filter this guy. So let's, uh, let's just do choice two and three. Apply that. So that's really, really powerful. So if you want to apply things that are specific to the rendered positions, uh, this is what you want to do. So can you format the list header as well so you can hide the list header? Uh, you can't really change the colors behind the scenes on that one. Um, so if I wanted to hide that, I certainly could. Okay. All right, so that's cool. So now let's see what we can do here. So when is this helpful, right? So it could be very helpful if you've got, say, you know, a warrior horse's site, and you've got the warrior horses, and they've got this giant massive list here, and you've got a little little gray line that comes across, and as you hover over things, let's get rid of the filter, right? You can sort of see things, but as this list is really, really wide, 
you know, it's got a lot of stuff in it. It'd be so much easier if we could just read this, um, you know, using a nice format. So luckily, everything I just showed you is available as a sample. So if you come over here and you go to the SP Dev list formatting repo, and if you come down here to view samples, right at the top, there's this alternating row class, and that's what I was just showing you. So all you have to do is you click on the JSON file, and you just copy and paste that, no fancy Git stuff needed. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go back to my site, and I'm going to format this view. I'm going to just paste that in there, and I'm going to save that. Bam! Look at that. Now I've got beautifulness. Right, I'm not quite so happy with uh, maybe that. I could say theme uh, secondary in this case, right? I'll preview that. You know, ooh, red. I guess that's what I thought. Let's do tertiary. There we go. Again, this is a custom theme, so all of your colors can be applied here. You can also just apply colors directly. Uh, you know, and you can even do things like maybe I don't want every other row. I want every other other row. I'm not sure how to say that, but right. So modulo, that's a three. You see, you've got a lot of stuff you can do here. Let's get rid of that, though. Well, here's the power. So if I save that, close this, you can start to see. So I'm really zoomed in to try and make this a little more obvious. If I zoom way out and see this massive list, right, it is so much easier to read and keep things in track when I've got this nice format across here. And again, the fact that it stays in place like you'd expect as you filter and as you sort is really, really awesome. Okay, so... There's a blog post, all this stuff. All of this is in the documentation as well, so if you're interested in finding out more about row index or the modules, uh, you can check all that out. Let's head back over here. So here's the thing. Row index, right? Starts at zero like all indexes should. This is SharePoint Online only, so 2019. Sorry, that's uh, that's not available for you. And again, the value is the rendered index, which is really important, right? So a lot of people used to solve this alternate row thing. They try and use a calculated column based off the IAD, not realizing that you can't really do that in calculated columns, and then they cry, and then they be sad. Well, be sad no longer. Here you go. And uh, one other thing I kind of want to mention here um, is there's another thing here. Uh, don't really have a sample for this, but it's the uh, absolute. So ABS. So if you use this, uh, it gives you the takes away the negative. Um, so you can use this for math operations. So that is available as well. And uh, with that, I, uh, we are looking for samples demonstrating practical usage. So if you've got a, a sample you know that would take advantage of that absolute uh, operator, uh, absolutely want that. Oh, that's right. Absolutely want that uh, added to the repo. So please reach out on that one. All right. Finally, check out our docs, SP Docs dash column formatting right here of the AKMS. If you guys want that, let me grab that sucker. Okay, go check out the list formatting samples, and there's a blog post that goes much more in-depth of everything I just showed you. You can go check that out as well. But uh, that's it for today. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm.